Hi there, in this video I'm starting a series in which I do a full tutorial on melee modding. This will teach you a lot of things. I'm not the best melee modder, but I'm pretty good at it and I've been doing it for a while. So I'm going to make a series in which I teach you everything I know about melee modding. Um, starting with hitbox editing. It's probably the easiest thing to do. Um, maybe a little bit harder than texture editing actually, but it's pretty easy. So, there's a program you need to do this easily. You can do it without the program, but I highly recommend you use it. It's called Crazy Hand. Um, it's a character editing program for Melee. It's a uh, pretty great, so, I, so you just download it. Um, I'll leave a link to this page here so you can download it. Uh, here, you just scroll down and click on this link. But I already have it installed, so... I don't need to do that. So once you have it installed, um, something I recommend doing is I recommend uh, creating a backup of your Melee ISO. Just copy and paste it. And then I would rename it to testing because um, just so you don't confuse the two ISOs. I always leave this ISO as the vanilla one, no mods, and this one as the one that I do the testing on. So that's handy. That's that's handy. So you don't have to go and reset everything. All right. So once you've done that, you can open up Crazy Hand. I have it right here. No, I don't want to rename it. I want to open it. Okay. And then you uh, find your ROM. You can, it has this little thingy here. Find your ROM, open it up. Should take a minute, but uh, here it is. Here's the crazy hand editor. And you can see there's lots of stuff being thrown in your face here, but it's pretty easy to understand. You can select the character you want to modify here. You can even modify like special characters like Giga Bowser and the wireframes. You can edit their attributes, the character specific attributes, like the distance up, uh, characters up, B goes, etc, etc. Projectiles, animation swapping, etc, etc. But for this tutorial, you want to go sub actions, attack only. Attacks only. A sub action is like just any uh, state that your character is in. So if you're jabbing, you'd currently be in the jab sub action. If you're falling, you'd be in the falling sub action. So, what's so? I think in this tutorial, I'm gonna make Falco's down air meteor smash, and I'm gonna give it the uh, a weak hit that doesn't that doesn't have meteor smash. So, I'm in sub actions attack only. I'm gonna go to down air. There it is, and I'm gonna look for it. All right, so. Here's the uh, meters. Here's the spike hitbox. You can see the angles at 290. That's how I know it's at this. It's the spike hitbox. So you can change the damage. You can change the uh, base knockback, the knockback growth, the size of the hitbox, sound effect, etc., etc. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to change the angle from 290 to 270. Angles are a little bit weird in melee because z the angle 0 is directly facing right. Um, 90 is up, 180 is backwards, and then 270 is a meteor smash. So it's a little bit wonky, but it's not hard to understand. So there, change the angle to 270. Now I'm going to go to the other hitbox, the weaker hitbox. Wait, uh... Yeah, I'm going to go to the weaker hitbox, and I'm just going to change it to 361. Now, this is uh, called the Sakurai angle. Basically, what it does is the angle changes based on how high the opponent's damage is at. This is commonly used uh, in a lot of moves, so I'm just going to set this, set this to 361. And let's test it out. Uh, I'm going to use Slippy because it just loads quickly. I'm going to run my testing ISO. I'm going to go into training mode. Choose Falco, unfortunately. And uh, let's test out the move. So 
Let's uh, set their damage a little bit higher. So it's noticeable. And, uh, yeah, sends them straight upwards like that. Let's uh, make the CPU jump. There you go. And there you go. You can see it launched Fox straight downwards. And the weak hit, there we go, sent him like that. Okay. There we go. Alright. So that's a very basic mod I uh, just made there. Those are really easy to do. So I'm going to do one more example. I think I'm going to make... Let's see here. I'm going to make Roy's down air spike, just like Marv's. So, let's go to Roy here. Let's find down air. Here it is. And let's look for hitboxes. Here it is. Here are the Meteor Smash hitboxes. And let's just make that a spike hitbox. Let's change the angle to 290, because that is outside of the Meteor Cancel range. And let's test it out. Let's go into let's run my testing ISO again. Now here's something important. You may have to refresh it. Make sure you click save at the bottom there. Or else it just won't save, of course. So let's let's test it out now. Ah yeah, I'm I'm so used to just selecting Bowser. Um so used to selecting Bowser. I just did it instinctively. Alright. Let's uh, set their damage up a little bit. Let's make them jump. So, Roy's down there sucks. Look at that, that's so dumb. There we go, there's the spike hitbox. Jeez, Roy's, Roy's so bad. I guess I shouldn't be talking, I mean Bowser. There we go, that was the spike hitbox. Jeez, Roy's so bad, isn't he? All right, well, sorry, sorry, Roy Mains. All right, there we go. I, I showed you. You uh, saw the hitbox spike. So there you have it. That's like a basic tutorial for um, how to edit hitboxes. I'm going to do more advanced things uh, later on. But this is like the basics. You can do a lot of things just with hitbox editing. Actually, it's not the basics. There's a lot more to it than this. So... I think next episode I'll do. Next episode I'll make like I'll talk about asynchronous and synchronous tires because those are also very important. So, anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.